Basically, the way vaccines work is they are trying to replicate a way that the body has for most efficiently fighting infection. And the way that is, is you get the infection, you develop these antibodies to the infection, then the body has a memory that any time they encounter that same infection, these antibodies come up. So the strategy is, is to take a weakened version of the infection infecting agent so that the body can en encounter it, overcome it, develop this memory response, and so that it's always available uh, whenever you encounter that agent again. In the early 1900s, 10% of babies, one in 10, died before their first birthday, in large part because of, of the uh, burden of infectious disease that they encountered. If you get enough people vaccinated in the order of 80, 90%, then you have community protection. Because even if someone comes and brings the infectious disease in, there's nobody there to catch it and pass it on. So there is both an individual and a community value to the way that vaccines work. We've had an enormous decrease in the kinds of conditions that cause morbidity that are preventable by vaccines. And it is both an advantage to the individual to have a vaccine and an advantage to the community. And we're now moving to other conditions, including preventing cancer. So it, it, it's moving in a direction that really prevents a lot of morbidity and mortality. So they're incredibly important and they're probably one of the most successful public health strategies that we have.